So this is Gus Davis video number two. So I told you guys that we met uh, Sally and Joe, really awesome people from Texas. And um, so the next day came around and uh, they asked us uh, if we wanted to meet for dinner. So um, we, uh, we uh, went to this really cool place called Bear Track Lodge in the middle of nowhere down a long, long road full of potholes. And, um, but man, that was one delightful meal. And, um, and while we were there, um, I met uh, this beautiful waitress of ours named Jennifer. And uh, she was just so warm and just so sweet. And I just liked her so much. And um, we just, you know, had a lot of fun with her while she waited on us and uh, so anyhow and uh, she um, well you know we left at the end of the day we went on uh, home and uh, got out to the car and uh, you know our experience with the car rental from Bud's so we uh, that we had um, that morning and so we went out um, with the replacement car and um, and David went in and he could not get it to start and man he we just got so flustered he tried it i tried it joel tried it and then he went back inside to speak to the owner of the bear track cafe because he wanted to leave the key with him to the car uh, his name was dave and a uh, nice guy and um anyway so dave came out he tried it and we were all stumped so and mad because i can't believe buds would give us second time in a row a bad car so but he's known for that <laughs> we were dulled so that's just the way it is and um anyhow um so dave's getting ready to walk away and we would have taken a ride back with bud and uh not bud um joe and sally to the hotel and um and he presses the button for the remote control uh, for the car and uh, would you not know <laughs> that another car started to beep that was parked on the other side so uh, we went to the wrong car <laughs> same car same color also with but from bud's rental and <laughs> they left their car unlocked and uh, and we just got right on in it looked identical to what we had Minus our bag was missing in the back, but we didn't realize or notice that. <laughs> Do you believe that? So anyway, um, we told uh, Dave, the owner of Bear Tracks in, not to tell anybody, but naturally he couldn't help it. He had to tell his uh, Jennifer, the waitress who waited on us. And uh, uh, what a traitor. But anyway, um, and uh, we uh, ran into Jennifer the next day when we were hiking on Bartlett Rivers Trail with her very nice husband. And, um, and uh, we uh, hung out for a little bit on the trail and uh, they went on fishing in the Salmon River. And, you know, David and I have been dying to learn how to fish. So I asked them if they, uh, if they wouldn't mind us coming along. And uh, would you not know that he had another two... Um, um what you call it david the poles. What? poles yeah poles. fishing poles in the trunk so he had four we were four people so we went down to the salmon river he showed us how to uh, how to hold and how to cast and how to come bring it back in and blah 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 and his wife uh, ca uh caught a coho salmon and we had such a awesome time fishing so first time in our life that we fished i've uh, been trying to learn this for two and a half years or so so we had a great time loved it so anyway that's our update from Gus Davis um, great town wouldn't want to live here but man it's nice people the nicest people so anyway um, love you guys bye